Hey everyone. So it's uh, getting late here tonight, but I realized I am out of my bread. So that's not a good thing. I want to make sure that I always have what I need so that there's no excuses the next day of uh, not, you know, eating what I'm supposed to and staying on track. So I ran out of the bread that I make for my sandwiches, which you should have seen yeah, if you were looking for today's video, I did um, do my start my accountability, which I was talking about that I was going to do um, to stay on track and to get this month accomplished. So uh, I realized that I'm going to have to do more accountability, which means checking in every day um, and doing now uh, what I eat in a day, uh, sharing my macros and my weight. And I just think that'll be uh, really good. So I ran out of bread. Um, I used that up the last few days. And so I'm going to make it now. I realized that I don't have all the ingredients that I usually use, like I use the Swerve powdered sugar. Um, I don't have that. So I do have stevia, so I'm going to uh, substitute that. I haven't done that before yet, and we're going to see how that turns out. So anyway, this is my PSMF, Protein Sparing Modified Fast, uh, flatbread. So I've had the other breads as well, but I, like I was saying in the last video, I just find that this messing around and making a bunch of different things really helped and the flatbread is much better on the sheet pan. Um, so I'm going to get started and I will put the instructions and the ingredients in the description and we'll just kind of go through it quickly. I just figured I might as well since I have to have the bread for tomorrow so that way at least you'll know what it is that I'm eating and how to make it. All right. All right, so hopefully you guys can see everything clearly enough. So as I've mentioned many times, um, video is not my thing. So uh, amateurity on the good old YouTube is, uh, that's what I do. So I'm going to start with uh, preheating the oven to 325. And then I'm gonna add 150 grams of egg whites. Sorry, did I say 150? What? 450. That would be like a really small bread. 450 grams of egg whites. So you can crack your own eggs, of course, if you prefer. Some people think that it works better that way. I've done it both ways, and honestly, I don't uh, see any difference at all. So, okay. So there is 450 of the egg whites. Just gonna pour them in the bowl. And then I'm just gonna have um, the uh, quarter teaspoon of the cream of tartar. Sometimes I put in more. Kind of just depends. I really don't see a difference when I make the bread, to be honest. Like. Um, so just some cream of tartar, put that in there. It's not that much at all. And then salt, it's like a quarter teaspoon of salt as well, but I don't even measure it. I just, because I like it actually a little bit salty, the bread, because you can put any spices you want in it. And then you put in the two tablespoons of sweetener, which like I said, I usually put the swerve. I don't have, so I'm just gonna actually add in some stevia that I really don't use, but um, I had it in the cupboard, so I'm gonna use it. So, two tablespoons. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and you're going to, you can put it in your stand-up mixer if you want. That's what lots of people do. Um, I don't have one, so. I'm just using the hand mixer which works just as good just takes maybe a little bit longer gets that little workout in so we're just going to um, mix that up sometimes it can take about 10 minutes or so just depends and then we're going to add in our egg white powder 
Okay, so took me about maybe 10 minutes or so to get it to, you know, a nice um, stiff peaks where it's not going to, you know, do anything, fall out anywhere. Um, so that's perfect. Sometimes you don't have to get it like that anyway. I've done it where it's way runnier and I've just left, like been in a rush or um, when aren't I in a rush, but, and patience uh, that I lack with baking uh, and it turns out just fine. So after it gets like this, I weighed out the egg white powder. So this is the one I use. Uh, because I can't find it anywhere where I am and so I just ordered it on Amazon and I just ordered some so it'll be I'm luckily I did have enough for today's batch and so we're just gonna put uh, 66 grams of the egg white powder I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in and some people just fold it in and I used to do that I used to kind of fold it in but I find it gets it leaves like lumps of the egg white powder and I don't like that because I don't like I've complained so much anyway I'm sure everyone's tired of me complaining about like you know the egg, <laughs> the strong egg smell sometimes so anyway um, I'm going to mix this up again but not for too long too too long so hopefully I didn't bore you for that uh, couple of seconds there anyway so I'm just gonna scrape around kind of just make sure it's all incorporated good which it is nice and fluffy perfect okay so then I'm going to move this out of my way so I have my oven is ready and then I'm going to I have my baking sheet with um, my parchment paper. I'm trying to remember if I sp sprayed it the last time, if I had an issue with that or not. Okay, well, I'm gonna give it a quick spray. I just got some uh, coconut oil. I don't really wanna use this because it you know, adds a little bit of fat, but, okay, let's hope I don't get this everywhere because this is like, it's, Sprays out crazy. Anyway, so there's a tiny bit. I get, you can use whatever spray you want or not. I just know I've had it sometimes stick, but sometimes it doesn't. And like I said, I'm using this stevia instead of swerve, so I don't know what the outcome will be. So now we're just going to put it all in the pan. Um, my gosh, eh? It just looks like so much egg whites isn't that amazing what we can do with them just like how far we've come you know well I mean they've always been around but how much people are experiment now figure things out okay so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it the shape of the pan like that's it I might redo this even in like a half batch, I'm thinking, but then it would take away lots of the protein. So I guess I don't really want to do that because I find it like, I would like it less thick, but then I'd have to make double, I guess, and eat double because to get the amount of protein. So I guess, I guess that wouldn't work. That's kind of silly, but that's me and my texture thing that I have an issue with. 
All right, so I'm just gonna continue to smooth this out. Make sure it's, try to get it as even as I can throughout. This looks like, see, that's, <laughs> that's why last time my bread was like, part of the bread was like a, this huge piece and then the other half was like um, nice and flat and even because when I'm in a rush I just you know but this this bread seriously is so forgiving like really like I've done a lot to it and it just puts up with it okay anyway so you got my drift here this is all you do if you like it in your bread pan by all means I believe the quantities are just a little bit different but I really don't think it matters anyway so if you wanted to here you could add on spices if you wanted to or sometimes I put on oregano um, it's totally up to you you didn't just see me do that right anyway so I'm gonna pop it in the oven now and it's gonna go in for about 20 minutes depends on how you like it so it depends on how brown you like it um, or how crispy or so if you haven't done it like this before you just need to kind of play around with it a little to see the texture that you like okay so I'm gonna pop this in for about 20 minutes I'm gonna see what it's like and then we will see you soon okay so the amazing protein sparing modified fast bread is now done so I said around 20 minutes I kept mine in for 21 minutes because um, I like it a little bit browner and then I'm even going to toast it when I eat it so this is what it looks like I took it off the sheet it's cooling now look at this look at this beauty just this huge sheet <laughs> of PSMF bread it's amazing so then what I normally do is I will cut it into um, show you here. four this way and then in half the long ways. So four ways this way, right? And then one in the middle. Then it gives me my, I'll just show you guys though. Easy to cut. So that's like one piece, like, right? Then you just make your sandwich, you put it together, look at this sandwich, and I mean it's huge really, and then I even cut it in half. So this is how thin I like it, and I always make it a little bit thicker in the middle I know, but I love these end pieces that are thinner. That's just my preference. Sometimes I even cut it in half, again, like to make it skinnier, and then put it in the oven and crisp it up on the sandwich. I like that too. So this bread easy to make if i can make it anybody can make uh, this bread so per sandwich so it's uh four servings right for two slices per serving so i am cut it into eight slices so it's 107 calories per sandwich so for two slices and it's 24 and a half grams of protein zero fat and you've got two carbs per serving so really I mean you could eat the whole bread in a day if you wanted to and you're still how under right but I mean it, it's great it lasts a few days if you wanted to make a whole bunch um, I might do that one day when I have a lot of time and just make like a whole bunch and freeze it save myself some time like for when I just run out of time uh, I don't know how well it freezes so if any of you have made this um, the bread and you froze it and use it frozen I would love uh, for you to let me know that share with us let us know that if it tastes just the same or you know if it's um it works just as well uh, if it's frozen that would be good to know otherwise I will do that I will freeze it I will let you guys know but if anyone knows please share so this is my bread guys this is what I've been eating every day this is what's helping me will help me stay on track um, it's filling it gets your protein in um, and it's just clean so that is a wrap for the PSMF flatbread for me and
and I will see you guys soon.